The hailstorm that hit the city of Calgary in 2020 caused upwards of $1.2 billion in property damage, becoming the most costly single event hailstorm in Alberta's history. To put that into perspective, that's enough to redo the roof of an average family home in Calgary 200,000 times over. These events are becoming more common and more costly, and as a result are putting enormous stress on the insurance industry. But it isn't just the residential and the insurance sectors that are being affected by hail. The agricultural industry is also extremely susceptible. All told, these impacts are having far-reaching economic consequences. We can't stop these types of weather events from occurring, so it falls to insurance companies and other financial services to adapt and mitigate to the impacts of climate change in order to help alleviate some of the economic stress. But how do we do this? Unfortunately, there is no simple answer. Weather is a complicated topic and has many contributing factors. If weather forecasting was easy and accurate, no one would ever leave home without their umbrella. Each year, Agricultural Financial Services Corporation, or AFSC, pays out hundreds of thousands of dollars to their clients as a result of hail damage. These payments are based on the size of the field and the extent of overall damage. There are many factors that influence how badly a crop is damaged by hail, such as wind speed and hail size, but also includes the stage of growth of the particular crop, just to name a few factors. By and large, Southern Alberta is hit the hardest by hail, especially the area locally known as Hale Alley, which extends from Rocky Mountain House to about the High River area. Seeing as most of Alberta's farmland is located in Southern Alberta, this is something we all need to be aware of. But how does climate change play into all this? As with all things climate related, there is no single indicator. Studies have shown that hail trends are not consistent across Canada. Some provinces are seeing decreases in hail, others are seeing no noticeable change, but here in Alberta, we are seeing an increasing trend in regards to hail frequency. Now, there are numerous factors that contribute to the increasing hail trends that we are seeing, from increasing temperatures and precipitation to ocean atmosphere climate variability, and many of these factors are impacted by climate change in their own right. A comprehensive analysis and review of AFSC's data over the past 20 years suggests an almost alternating cycle to hail frequency in Alberta. If a given year sees a high volume of hail, the following year is likely to see a considerable decrease in hail, and vice versa. As with any weather prediction, this pattern is not 100% accurate. However, it is a noticeable find. Besides living in and planting all of our crops in giant bubbles, we cannot completely avoid hail. All we can do is try to adapt to these evolving trends in one way or another, while also working to address climate change itself. Some of these adaptation and mitigation techniques include machine learning programs to better predict and assess for hail damage, cloud seeding, and the breeding and creation of more resilient crops, just to name a few. Without these adaptation and mitigation techniques, in addition to the immediate impacts of climate change, the economic pressures will continue to mount. One consequence of this is that it will cause the cost of agricultural insurance to increase. This in turn will increase the cost of food and other agricultural products that we consume on a day-to-day -day basis. It's not just our environment that's at stake, it's our economy as well. <laughs>